Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the award. The United States of America. This is to certify that the President of the United States of America has awarded the Meritorious Service Medal, Gold Star in lieu of the third award to Sergeant Major David M. Fallon, United States Marine Corps, for outstanding meritorious service from June 2022 to May 2024. This day of April 2024, Eric M. Smith, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps, the President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Meritorious Service Medal, Gold Star in lieu of the third award to Sergeant Major David M. Fallon, United States Marine Corps Reserve, for service as set forth in the following. For outstanding meritorious service as Senior Enlisted Advisor, First Civil Affairs Group, from June 2022 to May 2024, Sergeant Major Fallon imparted superior wisdom and gave sound counsel to the commanding officer, setting the example for more than 120 Marines and sailors. Embodying the Corps' ethos of honor, courage, and commitment, he helped achieve the highest levels of training, professional military education, and esprit de corps. As a result, the group planned and executed civil military operations for 23 real-world operations across six combatant commands and special operations command. The Marines and sailors proved fully capable of integrating with and supporting 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, the total Marine force, joint and combined forces, and civil authorities around the globe. They spread positive messaging and countered current and emerging threats as part of Operation Allies Welcome, Special Operations Task Force deployments, Taiwan Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief Planning, Marine Expeditionary Unit Assistance and Disaster Relief Planning, Marine Expeditionary Unit deployments, Exercise Balakatan 2024, and numerous other exercises and operations. Sergeant Major Fallon's exceptional professionalism, perseverance, and loyal dedication to duty reflected great credit upon him and were in keeping with the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. For the President, Eric M. Smith, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, Mrs. Fallon, Logan Fallon, and Asher Fallon will be escorted. United States Marine Corps Certificate of Appreciation, Mrs. Brenna G. Fallon. This certificate serves as an opportunity for me to thank you for all the personal sacrifices that you have endured during your tour with First Civil Affairs Group. Additionally, I thank you for all that you have done for the families of First Civil Affairs Group by conducting outreach during family events and other momentous occasions. Your impact raised the bar for what we can achieve and has welcomed back the long tradition of celebrating units camaraderie and bringing families together. You have earned the Marine Corps' grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted support. Given under my hand this 18th day of May 2024, Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel Thibodeau, USMCR, Inspector Instructor, signed Colonel DJ Fennell, USMCR, Commanding Officer. United States Marine Corps, Certificate of Appreciation for both Logan and Asher Fallon. This certificate serves as an opportunity for me to thank you for all the personal sacrifices that you have endured during your tour with First Civil Affairs Group. Your unfailing support and understanding have helped to make Sergeant Major Fallon's command tour successful. You have earned the Marine Corps' grateful appreciation for your unselfish, 
faithful and devoted support given under my hand this 18th day, May of 2024. Signed, Colonel T.C. Thibodeau, USMCR Inspector Instructor. Signed, Colonel D.J. Fennell, USMCR Commanding Officer. For their love and support, flowers are now being delivered to Mrs. Brenna Fallon, Miss Barbara Gregory, and Logan Fallon, and a coin is being delivered to Asher Fallon. Ladies and gentlemen, the commanding officer of First Civil Affairs Group, Colonel David J. Fennell. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away and the Marines Hymn. All those that have served honorably are reminded to stand and join in the singing of the first verse of the Marines Hymn. This concludes this ceremony. Thank you for attending. The change of command ceremony will begin in 15 minutes. The troops is First Sergeant Sopo Yu Toilolo, the First Civil Affairs Group Inspector Instructor First Sergeant. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding officer, Colonel David J. Fennell, welcome to the first Civil Affairs Group Relief and Appointment Ceremony, where Sergeant Major David M. Fallon will relinquish his post to Sergeant Major Robert K. Lusk. Today's ceremony is being performed by the Marines and Sailors of First Civil Affairs Group. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation given by the first Civil Affairs Group Chaplain, Lieutenant Commander Joshua D. Shotsley, United States Navy. 
Good morning, First Cag family, sailors and marines, friends, guests, new and old, and to the God and Father of us all, let us pray. Father, we're grateful for the company that you've assembled for the congregation that you have made here this morning as we overlook the land that you've called us to defend. We're refreshed in our appreciation for those that you've called into this service, and this morning especially for Sergeant Major Fallon, for his outstanding leadership and service to not only the enlisted, but to the officers as well. The pivotal role that he's played in the success of this unit, and for him we are grateful. His integrity, his character, his relentless commitment to excellence in all things, in the execution of his orders, and personally I'm grateful to him for all that he has done in welcoming me and equating me with all things Marine Corps. We pray that as he accepts his new call, that you would likewise continue to supply him with all that he needs to lead precisely there in the way that he has here, and that you would bless the Marines and sailors under his charge with the ability to respond and answer that call and that you would bless and comfort his family with your presence as he enters into this new season as well. And for those over whom he assumes these new responsibilities, prepare them for the firestorm that they are about to receive in Sergeant Major and give them the strength to answer the call. And for our new Sergeant Major, Robert Lusk, give to him all that he needs to take up the mantle that has been handed to him. Imbue in him all that he needs to lead those in his charge and serve those he's called to serve as he takes up this pivotal role in leading this unit out into the new territory in which you call in. Bless his family as he assumes these orders that in his absence they would feel your presence. That he might know the strength always of both you and those you've given and faithful support of him. And bless us. Lord, we thank you for your sovereign goodness to us. Pray your strength for our Navy, Marine Corps, sailors, and Marines. We pray these things in the triune name of God. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Present day reviews in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The massed formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of the past. The adjutant forms the line of battle, and in those early days, that line consisted of two or three ranks, much like in the ceremony you will see today. The adjutant today is Gunnery Sergeant Kenneth M. Eaton. Help! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Now taking his position in the reviewing area, the commanding officer, 1st Civil Affairs Group, Colonel David J. Fennell. Freeze it! Halt! Yeah, freeze it! Halt! Since 1875, non-commissioned and staff non-commissioned officers have carried the non-commissioned officer sword as a symbol of their ability and prestige as senior enlisted leaders of the Marine Corps. The Sergeant Major, as a senior enlisted leader and advisor, is the keeper of traditions for his or her unit. Today's emblematic passing of the sword of office signifies the transfer of this sacred trust from one Sergeant Major to another. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major David M. Fallon, effective 0930, 18 May 2024, you stand relieved of your duties as the Command Senior Enlisted Leader, First Civil Affairs Group, and are directed to report to Commander, Navy Expeditionary Combat Command. Signed, Eric M. Smith, General, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major Robert K. Lusk, effective 0931, 18 May 2024, you will assume the duties as the Command Senior Enlisted Leader, 1st Civil Affairs Group, signed Eric M. Smith, General, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the command, the playing of the national anthem, and the presentation of the award. Please remain standing for the presentation of the command, the playing of the national anthem, and the presentation of the award.
the United States of America. This is to certify that the President of the United States of America has awarded the Legion of Merit to Colonel David J. Fennell, United States Marine Corps, for exceptionally meritorious conduct and the performance of outstanding services from March 2022 to May 2024, given this 11th day of March 2024, signed Eric M. Smith, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps, the President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Colonel David J. Fennell, United States Marine Corps, for service as set forth in the following. For exceptionally meritorious conduct and the performance of outstanding service while serving as Commanding Officer, 1st Civil Affairs Group, from March 2022 to May 2024, Colonel Fennell's vision and leadership enabled the unit to attain the highest levels of operational capability and readiness while providing civil affairs expertise to over 23 real-world deployments and training exercises in support of combatant commander requirements in Central, Indo-Pacific, Southern, and Special Operations Commands. He successfully prepared his Marines and sailors to perform at the highest levels as it integrated with the total force to counter threats in support of Operation Allies Welcome, two special operations, task force deployments, Taiwan humanitarian assistance and disaster relief planning and preparedness, three Marine Expeditionary Unit deployments, the combined Joint Civil Military Operations Task Force for Balakatan 2024, and numerous training exercises both within the continental United States and overseas. His prioritization of operational readiness allowed the unit to achieve the highest results in readiness inspections and evaluations, enabling effective and rapid integration in response to active component requirements. Colonel Fennell's professionalism, perseverance, and loyal dedication to duty reflected great credit on him and were in keeping with the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. For the President, Eric M. Smith, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, Mrs. Fennell, Sela, and Abram will be escorted to join Colonel Fennell. United States Marine Corps Certificate of Appreciation for Mrs. Fennell. This certificate serves as an opportunity for me to thank you for all the personal sacrifices that you have endured during your tour with First Civil Affairs Group. Additionally, I thank you for all that you have done for the families of First Civil Affairs Group by conducting outreach during family events and other momentous occasions. Your impact raised the bar for what we can achieve and has welcomed back the long tradition of celebrating units camaraderie and bringing families together. You have earned the Marine Corps grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted support given under my hand this 18th day of May, 2024. United States Marine Corps Certificate of Appreciation for both Sela and Abram. This certificate serves as an opportunity for me to thank you for all the personal sacrifices that you have endured during your tour with First Civil Affairs Group. Your unfailing support and understanding have helped to make Sergeant Commanding Officer Fennell's command tour successful. You have earned the Marine Corps' grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted support. Given under my hand this 18th day of May, 2024. For their love and support, flowers are now being delivered to Mrs. Laura Fennell and Sela Fennell, and a coin is being delivered to Abram Fennell. For her love and support, flowers are also being delivered to Mrs. Carly J. Ikema, Colonel Aldrich's wife.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding General of Force Headquarters Group, Marine Forces Reserve, Brigadier General Raymond L. Adams. Thank you. What a wonderful day. The sun just started to peek out too, I think, so oh, it should warm up. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away and the Marines Hymn. All those that have served honorably are reminded to stand and join in the singing of the first verse of the Marines Hymn. This concludes today's ceremonies. Thank you for attending. Please join Colonel Fennell, Sergeant This ceremony's commander of troops is Lieutenant Colonel Wesley W. Ward, the First Civil Affairs Group Executive Officer. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Force Headquarters Group, Marine Forces Reserve, Brigadier General Raymond L. Adams, welcome to the First Civil Affairs Group Change of Command Ceremony, where Colonel David J. Fennell will relinquish command to Colonel Michael T. Aldrich. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation given by the First Civil Affairs Group Chaplain, Lieutenant Commander Joshua D. Shotsley, United States Navy. Good morning, First CAC Sailors and Marines, friends new and old, distinguished and honored guests, generals, and the God and Father of us all, let us pray. Father, we give praise and thanks to you this morning, first of all, for your goodness and for your sacrifice for us who are not worthy, and then for your call as U.S. Marines and Sailors to stand in like fashion unto our fellow man. Father, this unit has answered that call and you have blessed it with outstanding leadership, and most certainly including that of our Colonel, David J. Fennell. We thank you for the gift that he has been to this unit, his devotion to you, to his country, to us personally, to his family, the example he has set, his leadership, integrity, 
and above all, his sincere care for the people who serve under him. His discernment and the ability that you have gifted him with to empower and enable the best in the men and the women who serve him. We know that what you call him and Laura and his children forward into, while new to him and them, is not new to you. That you have already gone before them. That your rod and staff, they comfort them. And that in the midst of enemies, you continue to spread a table, the feast of your son. A feast I've had the pleasure myself of sharing with him in brotherhood, and a feast I look forward to sharing again. So we thank you in advance, Father, for blessing him, for the blessing of his family, knowing that you've already seen to the things that you're calling them to do, and the duties that await, and in the lives of the people he will serve. We pray that he would serve them faithfully and with devotion as he continues to call upon you as his Lord and lean into you, the provider of providers. And for our incoming CO, Colonel Michael Aldridge, we pray that as he assumes command that he would know your strength and that you would supply to him all that he needs to effectively lead and care for and carry this unit into the path that you've marked out for it and its members and its families. Watch over him. Bless his family as they come under and behind him as he answers this call. And may he know all the joy that his predecessor has had in his service. And bless this unit with the ability to readily answer the call to faithfully follow his command. Bless us, Lord, your forgiven sons and daughters. Prepare our hearts and minds for service to you and to this unit in the service of our nation. Until the day you come again and make all things new. In the name of the triune God we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Present day reviews in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The massed formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of the past. The adjutant forms the line of battle, and in those early days, that line consisted of two or three ranks, much like in the ceremony you will see today. for honors to the Commanding General of Force Headquarters Group, Brigadier General Raymond L. Adams.
Sergeant Major, present the colors to the commanding officer. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the ceremony's most solemn moment, the actual passing of command. The battle colors of a Marine Corps unit symbolize the authority and accountability of command. Transferring the colors during the ceremony symbolizes the relinquishing of command by Colonel Fennell, and by accepting the colors, Colonel Aldrich accepts command and confirms his total commitment to the Marines and sailors he will command. Sergeant Major Robert Lusk is delivering the colors to the commanding officer. Present! Or! Set! Present! Or! From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Colonel David J. Fennell, effective 10 30, 18 May 2024, you stand relieved from your duties as the Commanding Officer, First Civil Affairs Group, and are directed to report to the Commanding General Force Headquarters Group for duty as the Information Operations Detachment Officer in Charge. Signed, Eric M. Smith, General, United States Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Colonel Michael T. Aldrich, effective 10 31, 18 May. 2024, you are directed to proceed and report to the Commanding General, Force Headquarters Group, for duty as the Commanding Officer, First Civil Affairs Group. Signed, Eric M. Smith, General, United States Marine Corps. Staff, order, off. Order, off. Officer to be awarded, Sid Turk. 